as it was confirmed not too long ago by uh, the other members of Lincoln Park, it is indeed true that Chester from Lincoln Park, aka the main vocalist, uh, is indeed dead. He's passed away. And I have actually a lot to uh, thank because of Lincoln Park, much less uh, the main vocalist, Chester. Um, you know, like I said, usually I'm not one to really, you know, fanboy, I guess, or, you know, have an attachment to particular famous people or whatever, but, you know, I give a few exceptions here and there, and this, this is one uh, great exception, and so I'm just, yeah, I guess you could say testimony or tribute, you know, whatever you want to call it, um, but, uh, Back when I was really young, I, you know, listened to the radio music most of the time, and I didn't really have a particular, I guess you could say, liking to one or the other type of music. It was more or less, if it was on the radio, I just kind of listened to it, and that was that. Um, but when I was, uh, say, middle school, uh, I heard for the first time, Linkin Park's Hybrid Theory. I was like, wow, this is really good music. This is the first time I ever really heard anything heavier than, you know, um, Creed, Nickelback, uh, you know, the 90s bands that played back in the day on the radio, more or less. You know, it was the first time that I, had, that I heard anything heavier than that. And me being the over testosterone kind of guy that I was, I was like, wow, this is really fucking good, yeah, yeah, you know. So I got really into Linkin Park majorly. I mean, I, I listened to them every night as I was going to bed, and I listened to them on the bus when I was heading to school, and, you know, the whole ten yards, I was all about Linkin Park. And not only that, but, you know, the lyrics were spot on, I could relate so perfectly executed in how they were said and how they were performed and just in general on just paper the lyrics were they were deep they were meaningful they had substance full ten yards so I got really into them and then of course as I grew older I progressed and Throughout that time, of course, I still stuck with Lincoln Park. I had, um, you know, Hybrid Theory, Metarora, all the way up until their very recent album, still to this day, you know, I still am, am to them because if it wasn't for Lincoln Park, I honestly don't know what I would have uh, really started to trans transition into or like, musically speaking. Because after Lincoln Park, I finally found what I am musically, and then from there, you know, got into the heavier stuff from uh, Linkin Park to Slipknot to All Shall Perish, and it just, you know, went from there. Cannibal Corpse, Gore Guts, you know, and that's when I finally found who I was, and uh, you know, so I really have to thank. You know, Lincoln Park and the lyrics and everything that they were about. Not only as a band, but as Chester was as a person. Because anyone that knows anything about Chester knows he was an amazing man and everybody liked him. If they, you know, they got to talk to him in person or if they, you know, did anything with the guy, everybody liked him and Jimmy Kennel to just anyone. They all loved the guy. Anyone who was on tour with him, Godsmack, Disturbed, you name it, they loved him. And it was for a reason, because he was genuinely, authentically, an amazing person. And so that's, that's the perfect freaking combo right there. 
an amazing musician who is doing what he loves and genuinely an amazing person with a kind heart. Moved many people, moved people like me, you know, touched people like me and others. And, you know, I, I can't thank uh, Lincoln Park enough for that, you know, musically speaking. So, you know, thank you. Too late, but uh, Lincoln Park is a major player in my childhood and growing up musically and lyrically. You know, got it me into the deep, meaningful, substantial lyrics outside of just you know '90s music, but in the regards to the heavier stuff. You know, that's what got me to the lyrics past just the. You know, it got me into what they were saying behind the noises, behind the insane drums and, you know, guitars and shit. So. And so with that, um, I wanted to point out, a, you know, a few songs. I wish I could had the time to point out all of them and how good they all are, but as an example of what I was talking about, um, I want to start out with Hybrid Theory and their first song, Paper Cut, as it was always a nice paced, nice fast paced beat that got me pumped up, but also spoke to me. It pointed out how we have insecurities and that we face and that we hold that are there. Extremely powerful lyrics, but also great for getting pumped or workout music. You know, it's how cool is that? And for example, you know, as a little excerpt from their song, like a face that I hold inside, a face that awakens when I close my eyes, a face that watches every time I lie, a face that laughs every time I fail, every time I fall. It watches everything. So I know now when it's time to sink or swim that the face inside is hearing me right beneath my skin. Uh, the next, uh, the next song, one step closer. Uh, a little bit of a slower paced song, but still extremely powerful. Another song for pumping up and working out, but again, the lyrics are great. A in-your-face pre-fight song um, that points out stress and anger, just overall strong emotions that, you know, I could relate to. You know, everything you say to me takes me one step closer to the edge. I'm about to break. Enough said. Uh, another, th another song was With You. A very heavy song, to say the least, emotionally. It spoke of love, heartbreak, and attraction. Be it you're an adult or teenage Angus. Um, this song was a heart hitter, as I like to say. Uh, let the song say it for me here. With you. Even though you're so close to me, you're still so distant. And I can't bring you back. No matter how far we've come, I can't wait to see tomorrow with you. Uh, another one was Authority. Oh man, did I ever love this song, though. Uh, <laughs> uh, and if you listen to it, you should know why. It shouldn't be too hard to figure out. Uh, not only was it a pump-up fight song and motivator type of song, but it spoke volumes of relatability. Forfeit the game before it, somebody else takes you out of the frame, puts your name to shame, cover you up your face, you can't run the race, the pace is too fast, it just won't last. Highly recommend that song. Okay, in Crawling, this relates to today in particular, obviously. It speaks of depression, of insecurity, and how consuming negative emotions can be on a person. Crawling in my skin, these wounds, they will not heal. Fear is how I fall, consuming what is real. There's something inside me that pulls beneath the surface, consuming, confusing, the lack of self-control I fear is never ending, controlling I can't seem to find myself again. My walls are closing in. Like I said, you know, if you really listen to the lyrics and really listen to the song, you'll see how, how this relates on the Chester incident as of today. Going on to their next um, album, Metarora. Uh, Don't Stay. I always played this song as a pump-up fight song. 
Uh, however, the lyrics are just as heavy and powerful as the pace and the beat and so on. Very relatable. Sometimes I feel like I trusted you too well. Sometimes I f just feel like screaming at myself. Sometimes I'm in disbelief. I didn't know somehow I need to be alone. Don't stay. Forget our memories. Forget our possibilities. What you were changing me in. Just give me myself back and don't stay. Um, the next song was Somewhere I Belong. Unquestionably about depression, self-doubt, confusion, and of course there is that relatability factor. Here's what I'm talking about. Deep and powerful. Just stuck, hollow and alone, and the fault is my own. The fault is my own. I want to heal, I want to feel, and what I thought was never real. I want to let go of the fear and the pain I felt for so long. Erase all the pain till it's gone. I want to heal, I want to feel like I'm close to something real. I want to find something that I've wanted all along, somewhere I belong. And lastly, one of their major hits, Breaking the Habit. When this first came out, every time I heard it, it literally gave me goosebumps all down my arm. And I played that on repeat. <laughs> um, it is a powerful melody and it's amazingly composed song. As an excerpt from it, memories consume like opening the wounds. I'm picking apart, picking me apart again. You all assume I'm safe here in my room, unless I try to start again. I don't want to be the one the battles always choose, because inside I realize that I'm the one confused. I don't know what's worth fighting for, or why I have to scream. I don't know why I instigate, and I don't know. And I say what I don't mean. I don't know how I got this way. I know it's not all right. So I'm breaking the habit. I'm breaking the habit tonight. There are so many others that I can mention. That are so goddamn relatable. And powerful. And overall perfectly composed. That have substance and meaning. The perfect mix of badass pump up fight song. You know that you'd walk down to to the octagon or you know that type of thing or walking down into war and you know the music playing behind you as you're you know heading down there type deal but yet at the same exact time it's got that emotionally powerful lyrics that actually mean something substance I highly suggest that we all listen to Lincoln Park today I, for one, will be listening to Hybrid Theory and Metarora all day today. So, without further ado...